Hey guys, I'm Camille and welcome to my Camille Yogi channel. So currently I'm in Queenstown in beautiful New Zealand, but originally I'm from Lithuania. And through my channel we go through classes uh, step by step. So if you will follow them weekly, you will go from the basics up to the more advanced classes. So you sh if you are new to aerial yoga, just try to start from the lesson one or two, that you get more detailed poses how to get into them. Because later on, we will just uh, continue calling them by the name and not concentrating more on the details. So please follow my and subscribe to my channel for more of the aerial yoga classes to improve uh, your skills to improve your practice, deepening it, and let's go to the cell. So in today's class, we're going to focus on our backs, uh, strengthening the whole back muscles from the top up to the lower back, and of course, improving our mobility and flexibility. So let's get started. Okay. So this time in our class, we will start it with Shavasana pose. I know, I know it sounds very good, but we're not relaxing, we're just starting in this position. So go through a flip or in regular way by taking it seven times as a step, I will do for flip. If you do that, just wrap around, jump, and you will, let's meet in the silk, in the cocoon. So in here, just first lay down for a few minutes so you can leave your arms crossed on your chest or either over your head as I am now and uh, just a little bit uh, balancing and bringing ourselves in here and now. So close your eyes, just scan your body, go through your uh, head down towards your toes to check if there's no tensions and if you feel some of them just try to release them breathing out and everything what is unnecessary what you don't need anymore everything what's not serving you so start deepening your breath each time, feeling more and more air in your belly when you inhale and when you exhale, how the body gets smaller and shrinks. And slowly we coming into this Ujjayi breathing. When we breathe through out the lungs, and in our belly, and in our ribcage and chest. And breathing out through that soothing sound as if the wind. Breathing out all the thoughts, whatever was bothering you today. And just clear your mind. Coming into that peaceful moment. And if, even if some thoughts popping up, just let them go, let them drift. And just notice the sensations in your body. Be aware of what's happening with this moment. So a couple more breaths like that, deep and soft. And last one, inhale and exhale. And from here, just wiggle your toes, your fingers, and inhaling, reaching up with your arms in one straight line, toes towards one direction, arms the opposite, and just stretch. 
And one more time, breath in and breathing out, just bending through your waist, one side, inhaling in the middle and exhaling in the other side. So a couple more like this, just stretching your sides and just feel how your back starts to move and warms up. And let's stay in the middle. And from here, we will more focus on our backs. So both your, of your arms, just grab of your right side or left side of the sill. I will grab the left one, but I will turn to you guys. So with both hands and just turn on that side that you're holding. So you're totally on, on the side, right? On the hip. And leave your arms over your head. Your head is inside the silk. And here we will start to twirl and uh, like a snake. So inhaling and arching back, exhaling, bending your knees and elbows and curl into your center. Inhaling, opening up wide and exhaling again, coming into the center. You might start to even swirl around, but and it's okay. You can do like a free movement. Just keep waving through the spine. Exhaling into the center, inhaling, opening up. So just feel like this. Two more times. Together with breathing. And then when you curl, we will grab our toes with our hands. If you can't reach them, you can always just grab the silk, which is fine. And uh, if you grab the toes or silk, start to straighten in your knees. And if you feel that you can't straighten it again, grab the silk, okay? And from here, when you exhale, bring your, pull it with your hands, your chest towards your thighs. And in this way, we stretching our lower back, hamstrings, the whole actually body. So every time you're breathing out, just a little bit more pull from your arm muscles, from your arm power, closer towards your legs. Two deep breaths. And exhaling, release. Turn on your back and then change sides, turn on the other. I will do that from the other side that you would uh, see how it looks. So when you turn on the other side, exhaling again, curling, inhaling, opening and arching and feel that space around while moving in this free kind of movement. Oops like some kind of creature or a snake just waving through your spine so a few more times and then leave it in a curled position and with your hands Grab your either toes, either the silk, and when you're exhaling, you're bringing yourself as close as you can towards your legs. So use your arm muscles and also try to pull yourself from your chest, from your belly towards the thighs and straightening your knees as much as you can. Breathe deeply and every time you exhale, pull yourself a little bit closer. Stretching and lengthening our back muscles and hamstrings. And still warming up the body. Last two breaths. And the last one. Exhale and release your legs and turn in the middle on your back. Okay, so guys, I'm back in the regular way as I started, and in here, uh, let's uh, 
lay down straight and this time activate your feet. The feet should be flexed, so toes up and uh, your arms can be over your head, relaxed, just hanging and we will a little bit activate our body center, our core, just to make that inner fire going. So inhaling and lifting your both legs straight up, exhaling slowly going down, inhaling up and exhaling down. Keep on going like this and keep on thinking that you push your heels forward, that your knees would be straight and then here we especially activating lower abs. So just three more, going up and down. The last one. And now we will do, um, we will lift the last time and let it down in, uh, in a count of 10. So inhale coming up, hold it here and we will start to land, lower our legs down, slowly. So inhale one more time, and exhaling, start to lower them down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, I'm supposed to be neat in the middle, 3, 2, let's hold a little bit. And one, okay, relax, maybe shake it off a little bit, bend and twist from side to side, whichever you feel like you would like to do. And then inhale, grab your side of the silt and sit up. And now from here we will do a caterpillar pose. So, uh, as you're sitting in the sill, just a little bit now, scooch forward and that the edge next to the knees would be just close to it and that there won't be a lot of fabric. So most of the silk should be behind you. So sitting in here, now grab the silk and put it on top of your head. And in here, now we're gonna put our both heels into that other edge of the silk. So as you see, your legs in, the middle is out, and our belly is again in. And from here, holding the edges that are next to you, lift your pelvis a little bit up and lean back, and bring yourself just under your rib cage. So not too high, not to the armpits, a little bit lower, just under your rib cage, or where your chest is. Okay, so this is a caterpillar. And that this middle won't be in your way, you can just grab it with the, uh, with the thumbs, but the sides, which holds you, we grab it with the four fingers. And that way we wrap and clip ourselves so that we won't fall or slide off the silk. Okay, so from here we do the caterpillar movement. So, and inhale here and exhale, bend your knees and drop your pelvis down and you will feel how your back is arching, which is fine, you're opening the chest. Inhaling, lifting your pelvis in one straight line with the whole body and activating, engaging your glute muscles. And exhaling and dropping the whole pelvis, just feel how the back is lengthening through your waist. Inhaling, coming up in one straight line, activating the whole body. And exhaling again, dropping your lower back and feeling the stretch for middle back. Inhaling, holding the line. So just a few more times like that. Exhaling down, inhaling up. And let's leave hanging with the knees. Knees can be a little bit open if you want. Head is uh, relaxed and just lean back into the sill. Close your eyes if you want. Just let your pelvis really drip down. Don't hold anything except with your arms holding the sill for the safety. But other than that, everything is just hanging and lengthening. 
So a few breaths, Just a few moments. Again, notice the sensations in your body and this pose and this opening of your chest, lengthening through your abdominal area. Then inhaling, coming up again in one straight line, holding the whole body straight and activate your buttocks. And in here, we take out a uh, left leg out and inhaling, lifting it up, exhaling, lower your leg down. So we do leg lifts. So five more, inhaling up, exhaling down. The whole leg is straight, knee. The foot can be either flexed, either point, whichever you like. I'm doing point, but whichever works for you. So three more, inhaling up, exhaling now, still holding the pelvis, drawing the let to drop. Everything still in one straight line. Okay, and the last one. And now, just bring your leg up and bend the knee up to your chest. We're gonna do the spinal twist. So twist to the right, the opposite direction. And here, relax your pelvis. If you feel a little bit too squeezing through your shin, just a little bit push it down, and it will be just over your heel. Listen. Relax your head and uh, let passively the body stretch and twist through the whole spine and the other side, through the rib cage. And don't forget to breathe deeply, which always helps to breathe out the tensions and physically and mentally. Two big breaths. And inhaling, coming up, exhaling, bring your leg into the silk and let's change sides. So now the right leg out, the whole body in one straight line, holding your glutes, your buttocks, engaging your muscles. And in here, inhaling with the right leg up, exhaling down, just warming up the legs and hips. Inhaling up, exhaling down. In the meantime, we're still strengthening our lower back and middle back so four more inhaling the leg is straight exhaling down foot either point either flexed whichever you like and last one and now bend your knee towards the chest and twist to the left side so the opposite relax your pelvis and we entering our twist through the spine while the other side, the left side, which is now towards, towards the ground, is stretching, lengthening. And keep on breathing. It'll bring your awareness of how you feel now in this pose. What sensations are coming up? Two more breaths. And then inhale, coming up, exhaling, both feet into the sun. And from here, we slowly slide down on the mat. So just grab yourself firmly, inhale, and exhale, just let your hips drip down and slide through the sides out of the silk while you end up on the mat. So leave your feet into the silk, but you can release the silk of your arms. And relax in here, so maybe swing from side to side, just a little bit massaging our lower back, our sacrum. Okay. You can stop in the middle and from here on we're going to concentrate more on the lower back. 
So take out one of the foot, doesn't matter which one, and just put in the front where you see that the edge that we hold it with the hands. It's not free, so let's put one of the foot inside of it, and then the, our feet could be separate. And put them together for now. So heels together, but toes open, like V-shape, the letter. And legs straight, hands by your hips, by your sides, and we go to the bridge. Uh, now dynamically, and then we hold. So inhaling and lifting your hips up, your lower back, your middle back and chest. Exhaling, first you go and lower your upper back, the waist, and then only your pelvis. And then inhaling again, going through this way from down to up, and exhaling again from the upper back to the lower back. Slowly, vertebra by vertebra. Just feeling each bone. So, two more times. And feel how your glutes also active, the whole leg. And last one. And this last one, we're gonna hold up there. Okay, and now you can bring your shoulders a little bit closer to one another. You can leave your arms either on the mat, either collapsed together, whichever is comfortable for you. And in here, we're gonna add scissors. So inhaling and opening your legs wide, exhaling, coming back and bringing your heels together. And again, inhaling, opening, and exhaling now. So keep on doing that. You should feel uh, a little bit resistance towards the silk, as if you're pushing it as much as you can. And in that way, you will feel not only your lower back, but also glutes and side and inner side of thighs, thigh muscles. So three more. Inhaling open, exhaling, closing. And with control, slowly. And last one, as I always like, we're gonna hold and breathe. Relax your face especially jaw. Smile on your face because we're going to be forward here. No, no, just kidding. A few more breaths. Last one. And slowly closing. Inhaling, lifting your chest one more time. Unclap your hands if you have them. And exhale slowly, vertebra by vertebra. We're going down on the mat. And here we can relax, just swinging again with your legs from side to side, massaging your lower back. Just a couple of breaths. And then taking your feet out of the sill, behind your knees and uh, through round back with a ball roll forward. And we will go to the hip hang downward dog. So you can go to the regular way as we did in the previous classes or you can go through more challenged transition. So through a flip. If you want to do through a flip, you just wrap around one time with your hands and then through the feet you push away from the ground and you wanna turn around and meet in here. If not, you can go just regular way by on your toes, going forward and then bending towards the mat. So either way, we're all gonna meet on the mat, hands, uh, shoulders width, fingers wide, active shoulders and elbows, while the feet are just crossed and knees are bent. And just feel the lengthening through your spine, especially through upper back and start swinging through the hips just a little bit, relaxing and stretching. A few deep breaths. Okay, and let's meet in the middle. In here we're gonna do more active spinal twists. So bring your toes on the ground, the hips apart. Touching the ground, so legs and arms are still straight. And in this, 
with our right arm we're going towards the left side between the left leg and arm and either you can just walk with your fingers towards the left side or if you want you can grab your ankle and then bring your um, left armpit up and shoulder back that you would open the whole left side and looking towards the ceiling so we're twisting through our upper back through the middle back look up and breathe and if you want more and not only you are pushing away from the left leg but also the upper arm over your head you can walk backwards which will increase your twist and deepening it two more breaths and come back in the middle we're gonna change sides so now uh, with that left arm we're gonna go through the right arm and left and walk our fingers as much as we can towards the right side while opening the uh, right shoulder armpit towards the ceiling looking up and the uh, and left arm keeps on walking while the left, uh, sorry, the right arm keeps on walking backwards. So we're twisting through shoulders, middle back. You should feel that spiral going through. The legs still straight and keep on breathing. Last two deep breaths. and then sailing coming back and this time leave your hands just under your shoulders and bring your legs up bend your knees and wrap around the knees wide you go to the scorpio so one step back a few more as much as you can that your foot feels stable and that you can hold the pose uh, keep your fingers still wide through the pushing through the whole palm from the ground through the shoulders and bring your pelvis a little bit under so that your back would be straight and you would um, feel the power from back muscles so before we were more stretching in this pose we're more strengthening our backs especially upper one upper back and in here we'll add movement so inhaling here in the middle and exhaling Bending towards the right side through your waist with your hips and pelvis while the shoulders are still in a straight line. Inhaling, coming up and exhaling to the other side. So keep your shoulders in line that they won't twist because we want uh, in, to work that side that you're going and twisting. That shoulder especially try to push down. Resisting that twist uh, through shoulders, leave it only through your waist and lower back. So with control, We're still strengthening the body, especially back and core. A few more. And let's meet in the center. Inhaling, lifting your head and walk your arms towards the the mat and relax your head relax your shoulders just a few moments either here either you can take out your legs and cross them whichever is more comfortable for you just feel how you feel now notice the sensations two breaths That's one. And inhaling, coming up. This time we will do um, bow pose, a uh, half bow pose. And if you want more challenge, we will do a full one. So again, wrap around and we will start from elbows down. And then here, put your whole weight on your right elbow. And with your left arm, grab your left foot. 
Now hold them firmly and then when you exhale pull away with your leg from your back so the leg is very strong and firm it resists the hand and start to uh, wants to get away but the hand holds it strong so feel that and also how the silk is pushing towards the thigh so that contact with the silk and look towards your mat to the right hand on the ground and a little bit pushing away from the right shoulder but you won't collapse but keep on pulling but and you can just check if you lift your right arm you still have to be holding the pose right so you can just play around with this so still holding we increasing in here mobility and flexibility in our backs and also strengthening it keep breathing concentrating and pulling away two more breaths and the last one and exhaling, bringing your leg in and a little bit just relax. Feel how your body feel now. And we're we'll going to the other side. So now put the weight uh, towards your left elbow, looking to the left palm already. When the right arm grabs the right foot and pull away, going away from your back as much as you can, as if you want to straighten your knee and feel how your shoulders open, your chest, how open is your waist and the whole back curves and breathe deeply, don't hold up, let that inner energy flow. The other leg is still pulling, pushing away to the side, still opening for the hip. And if you want, you can lift a little bit your left arm just to check if it's really pulling for your leg muscles. Very strong pose. Everything is active. Two more breaths. And the last one. And exhaling down. A little bit relaxing and a little ball. And baby pose just hugging your knees and rounding our backs and from here we will do full bow pose so now if you feel that it's too early for you you just do half bow each side i will tell when to change the sides while the other if you want more deeper challenge go full so if we do full we start both hands lifting while Feet are still in the silk. Just grab your ankle, still knees down. And when you grab your ankle, both legs pull away from your back and lift up for your head. So, and uh, legs pushing and resisting the hands and the head and shoulders coming up into one round circle. And keep holding the pose. And if you're doing half pose, two breaths in here. And if you did half bows, uh, half bow, so change the sides while the full bow still holding, breathing. In both variations, the legs are active and pull it away. And last two breaths. And last one and slowly coming down into baby pose rolling into little ball and relax okay so one more quite strong pose it would be swing pose so in here just take the soul behind you thumbs in and climb up so in that one straight line looking forward and the hands climbing as high as you can reach it look forward in one spot concentrate legs together the whole body is active especially the whole back of the body is engaged 
and we're still working on our back. So you should feel your muscles already working. If you want more challenge, you can go deeper into the pose by laying your hands now by your hips, but still holding the whole body in the same spot where you started. And the other step would be slowly put, uh, pulling away your hands, just take it away from the silk, maybe from the, to the sides. Just remember, you have to look through your head. Your head is more heavier than your legs. I mean like your upper body and lower body. So keep on uh, bringing your head up while the legs are a little bit lower. So you are quite diagonal. And that will help you to lift up and hold the pose. And for those who are really want more power, you can always just bring your hands forwards. So a few more breaths in here, just concentrating and balancing. And feel your back, it should get warm and juicy. <laughs> just a little bit more. Few breaths. Last one. And exhale, release. And feel the whole back now lengthening and stretching. Relax your head and neck. And just have a few breaths after this powerful pose. Just making the back safer and stronger as well as healthier. Last breath in and out. Inhaling, coming up, and now we will do the last pose, which would be just stretching and relaxing more like it. So back straddle, the hanging pose. You can go in the simple way as we did in previous classes with bent silk, or we can do a um, transition. So. Just straighten your legs again as we did before, but this is just for a short time. And just twist on the side, but bring your both hands on the sill and twist up to the front. And make sure that the silk would be just under your hips and over your buttocks, right? Not under, but over. And wrap around. And just drop your hands, relax your shoulders. Your feet can be in, can be out. Feel the soles if you're touching them. If not, if you feel uncomfortable, you can always leave them in inside, inside the silk. Close your eyes. Relax your inner groins. Just let your hips open. Relax your abdominal area, the core. Everything is just lengthening, stretching, massaging internal organs and feel how the ribs open, expand. Perhaps shake your head from side to side as if saying no. Just feel that loose feeling in your neck as if the head is hanging on the fret. Notice other sensations Keep on breathing, just being in this moment, in this pose. So just a few more breaths. Open your eyes, look up to your belly button, take the silk and open your legs to slowly stand up and go relaxing and ragdoll just that your blood pressure won't go instantly up. So still leave your head hanging, legs a little bit wider and just maybe a little bit stretching or just being on one spot. And 
bend your knees and tilt your pelvis under for round back, come up. And from here on, we will go to the final relaxation, Shavasana. So let's meet in cocoon, either for flip, either for regular wick. Just make sure that your body is straight. You can leave your legs uh, lengthened or either in sleeping butterfly, which is with open uh, knees and then uh, your arms crossed over your chest or over your head, whichever is comfortable for you. Close your eyes. And let the whole body now relax. All that we did from the class, especially concentrating on our back, so let all that, what we did, all that work, sink in into our body. Just get all the benefits that we did today. So just go through your body. Notice as your are your feet relaxed. Relax your shins and knees. Eyes. Release your pelvis. Relax your belly, your core. Relax chest, shoulders. Scan through your spine from the lower back up to the upper back. Relax your hands, your arms. Neck. Release your jaw and all facial muscles. So now your body, your mind is completely relaxed. And just now imagine how you're floating somewhere in infinite space, so free, so light. Immerse into this calmness. Into this kindness and love. And just for a few moments, enjoy this peaceful feeling. Just floating and relaxing. Deepening your breath. And you come back to your body. Move your fingers, your toes. And inhaling, reaching up with your hands over your head and just stretch from side to side. So it feels good for you. And Inhale and coming up, take up your feet, either in a regular way or either through a flip. Let's meet up on a mat. So sit up comfortably, either in simple seated sukhasana position, just heel by heel, or take a cushion if you want, to whichever way you would like. And uh, your hands on your knees or in a prayer position. Close your eyes. 
first just again bring your awareness to your breathing just feeling how the breath comes in and out how air fills your body how with each breath out you're breathing out what is unneeded what is unnecessary what is old and not serving you and inhaling what is new what is positive what is inspiring you and lifting you up all the goodness and love In a light shining through and uh, in here we will finish our class so thank you for practicing together so ho I hope you enjoyed this class and uh, if you want more classes like this and aerial yoga from beginners to advanced just keep on following and subscribe to my channel for weekly updates and uploads of the classes and uh, hope you enjoy your day and see you soon guys bye namaste